Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel, Refuge T here with my granny's closet, back with another video for you guys. How is everybody doing today? How was your weekend? <laughs> what did you do? Where'd you go? What'd you see? What did you uh, eat? How much fun did you have? I had a blast. I am exhausted. I'm tired because we had a full weekend once again. It is the kids last was the kids last weekend before uh, Christmas break is over and they go back to school on Wednesday. So we have two days. I'm exhausted this morning. Uh, if you On Friday, I'll let you guys know why I was exhausted. But here's the gist of it. My kids were up all night last night. For some reason, they were just wired. And I could not sleep. I was just, I'm, I couldn't sleep because they kept coming into the room, waking me up. And then Rocky, he kept growling downstairs and yipping and yapping. So I went down there like four times to let him outside. And this darn dog, because I think there's a cat that goes into our backyard. He doesn't like any cats in our backyard, you know? And so I kept having to open the door and I told him, I was like, I'm done. Go to sleep. And so he <laughs> kind of just lied down, curled up in the ball and looked at me like, <sighs> he was like, but it's my backyard. So I'm crocheting today with you guys because we're going to talk about my weekend because I did not go to the farmer's market. We went to the mountains. It's called Forest Falls and we had fun in the snow. And then on Sunday, we went to another little powwow that I wanted to go to. My sister had posted about it and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't freak. I can't believe I forgot. My husband and I planned on going and we both forgot about it. My sister posted, said, I wish we had time to go. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go. I looked it up Saturday and Sunday. It was still open because it opened up, I think on Thursday or Wednesday. It was the fifth through the seventh. So what was that? The seventh was yesterday. So Friday through Sunday. And, um, so we had, we had fun this weekend. So that's what this video is about. However, I am going to show you guys what I've been working on, what I completed. But before we get into that, let us get into some admin and intro stuff. If you don't know, now you know, you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. All underneath my granny's closet, three G's. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I make and sell for my farmer's market, you can find those at my Facebook page. Um, that is where I have all my listings, everything that you can browse all the stuff that I sell, that I make, and um, shipping and handling and things like that. You can find that over there on my Facebook page. Now, I do have a group page called My Granny's Closet 3 Gs. No spacing, just add the S at the end. That is where we go to congregate and conversate about all things yarny and crafty goodness. If you want to post pictures of anything that you have neglected over time, we do have a Finally Finished Fridays, and on those days, you can post those Finally Finished items. I do have some dedicated people that do post on there. And I am sorry because I tend to neglect a lot of social media and I try to, um, go about my day. So I forget to post a lot of the time, but I just noticed that I haven't been getting notifications about people posting and that I don't know why that's happening. So I'm going to, um, fix that problem. And then I'll hopefully be back on top of posting and answering people's questions. If you have any questions about vendor events, market events, you can ask those there as well. And somebody will be glad to help you. If you are new here, a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me today. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. You have no idea. You guys are awesome for being patient with me. We got baby Grogu. My godson Moose got this for me for Christmas one year. It is so cute. But my my godson got this for me and I love him dearly for it. Thank you, Moosey. All right, guys, today is just a catch up video. I am so exhausted. If I sound a little bit more melancholy, subdued, it is because my rock, like I said, Rocky kept me up. The kids kept me up. I'm so tired. All I really want to do is just sit and chill and not really like just crochet and catch up on YouTube videos because I haven't been really watching any videos or 
catching up on anything during this winter vacation. I've just been, you know, focusing on my kids. I haven't really crocheted too much, you guys. I've just been spending time with my family, really dedicating time to them and um, putting them first. So, but I did crochet more scrunchies and I did finish one wild oleander hooded scarf. Here we go. I finished this one, the summer something, summer nights or summer breeze or something like that. And summer sunset, I believe. And I love the way this looks. I just have to put the tassels on. And I don't know if I'm going to put the tassels or the fringe on this one because it looks pretty good by itself. But I think I'm going to try it out because I do still have some of this colorway left over. If not, then I may make a braided ear warmer out of the rest of it. But I did finish this one. And if you guys saw when I introed, I am working on another one right here because I didn't go to the farmer's market this weekend. Uh, we went, like I said, to the mountains and then we went to a powwow on Sunday. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. I want to take you guys with me in a different way for um, my weekend. So if you guys want to enjoy with me, here is a video. Just a couple of clips and some pictures of the mountainside that we went to go visit. Did I do it? A little bit. Now that day I was not happy because I was just, I forgot my boots. I didn't have a big jacket. We found out that both of our boys lost two big jackets that we let them borrow and they left them at school. And during Christmas vacation, you know what they do at the end of a big break or before a big break and they donate all the jackets and stuff like that. And so we're really not happy that we're missing two of our winter coats, but, um, we had fun. The kids had fun. We found a trash bag hidden underneath this mountain of snow and <laughs> wrapped our daughter and boys in it and sent them down a mountaintop. And they, ha it wasn't a mountaintop. It was a small little hill. Okay. You guys saw that. <laughs> But we had fun, but I was wearing my red and, or my burgundy and gold Puma cells that I wear with my Wonder Woman and Flash and now my new Iron Man shirt. And I, all I did was wrap my feet cause I brought bags. I normally bring plastic bags so that the kids can put their clothes in them after they change out of their soaking wet clothes from playing in the snow. 
So I grabbed two, and then my oldest son forgot his snow boots as well. I wrapped both of our feet in the plastic bags that I brought. Then we put our shoes back on and we were able to walk in the snow. <laughs> but I fell. I didn't fall fall. I slid. There was black ice in the parking structure. And it was really scary because we have slid on black ice before. And I really wish that we had chains on. People were sliding a little bit and you can hear their tires spinning before they caught traction and then we're able to move forward. No accidents happened, nothing bad was going on. It was just, you know, those scary few seconds and you're just like armpit sweat, itchy, fear in your gut. You just you get sweaty, hot colds. You know what I'm talking about. It's just like, you know, just like, ugh. <laughs> um, so I needed to go, when we got there, they have this post up of a um, scanner code and you scan it and you pay for your permit. You put that in the window with your phone there. And so I was going to go do that. There is a restroom there that they have steps to go down into the parking structure. And so I go back that way. There's black ice everywhere and I'm sliding a little bit. So I'm holding onto the bar rail and I walk down the steps. I get to the bottom step. I take one, two steps. I'm fine. The third step, I land. Doesn't do anything. It's my foot that slides when I'm lifting off to take my other step. And I reach back to get the, the rail, the handrail that's there. And so I won't fall back onto the stairs. And they're cement really, you know, sharp framed stairs. <laughs> I was like, if I land on that, our trip is over and my husband's going to go crazy trying to get me to an ambulance, you know? So I reach back and I grab it, but instead of grabbing it, I smack my hand on the corner of the brick wall. And I don't know if you could see it. The green is still there a little bit. My hand is still swollen. I might, my, my, uh, I got a little bit of swelling going on here and I got some swelling here, but I, I'm better now. The cold was so cold, it made the pain worse. And the force with which I just swung my arm back to grab the handrail, but instead catching the corner of the brick wall, it was just painful. So I tried to catch myself and I don't know if I strained my knee because by the time we got home, my knee had given out on me and I was hurting a lot. And my right knee is a knee that I've had trouble with and I've had surgery on because I tore my meniscus tendon. And the doctor told me that if I have another, you know, incident or fall hard on it, it could blow out my knee for good, which is not ideal. <laughs> so I got home, I was hurting, walked up the stairs, took everything that I needed to the laundry and it was just, yeah, it was not fun. So I packed my hip and my knee with ice um, and my hand. And then my husband comes up the stairs and he, he lies down. And he, he's like, give me one of those packs of ice. <laughs> and he puts them on his knees. <laughs> so we're both kind of like, ah, we need to lie down. We need to chill out. This is just too much. <laughs> And then on Sunday, we went to a powwow after church, and that was so much fun. We had so much fun. One mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above.
mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine and bright above. Thank you. 
mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. We get to the casino because we went to the Pachanga Casino because that's where they were holding the powwow. And there were some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful regalia, uh, just natives walking around. And I don't even like to say natives. We're Indian, you know. And I was just like, all these people look Indian. You know, they look it. And I'm just like, okay, maybe... I look in the mirror, I'm like, I don't look Aztec. I don't look Indian, <laughs> you know? And so um, I was just like, I know I am because I've, you know, taken the test or whatever. I'm 63% um, Aztec and 10% African. And the African that's in me is the Congo and Ethiopia. And the rest is just like one, two percent of like, you know, Germany, um, uh, European, just the small things, Dutch, tiny things around, you know, different aisles because Mexican people are a bunch of everything, but the most that we are is Indian. So we had so much fun. We had a blast watching the powers, the dancers, my favorite were the grass dancers. Oh, they had booths there. And I wanted to do, I wanted to ask about getting a booth space there, but it didn't look like it was something that my crochet would, you know, it was more weaving. It was more native, uh, it was more um, like Indian jewelry and beaded, a lot of beaded jewelry, tons of beaded jewelry that I really wanted to purchase. But the earrings that I wanted they were $180 because they were crochet beaded earrings. They were hoop earrings. And I was just like, oh man, I would totally buy that if I had the money to buy them. Because <laughs> you got to support your people, you know, you got to support your people. So we had fun walking around and having the kids see where our heritage lies. And um, we sat up in the bleachers and we watched all of the dancing and everything like that. So here's a video of our people dancing. <laughs> Make a mess. 
Fancy feathers on the floor. Step back, put your seat belts on. We're gonna go to Bullhorn, are we good to go? Somebody give me the signal. Bullhorn, pick them up, set them down, and say hello. Ben Fancy. enjoyed today's video it's something different I know I don't normally do this and do outside of farmers market and things like that but when I don't do the farmers market I tend to try and um, show you guys something that you know my family and I does for fun and you know to be honest my husband's like are you gonna post that are you gonna do a video on it I'm like no he's like well why not I'm like well I tend to not want to do a lot of you know pictures of the kids and things like that um and we're in agreement with that. You know, our kids, our oldest son does have a YouTube channel, Comic Isaiah, like I told you guys. But our other two are younger than 13. And I don't want them on video. But when it's family things like this, I will try to post video, but I blur out their faces. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys um, had fun you know, going on a magical ride with us this weekend. I'm so corny, so dumb. But you guys have a blessed rest of your Monday, a blessed rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace out. There's not much to do When all I can Is thinking about you Not doing well Don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you I would
When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I could lay down beside you.